Hey, we have another interesting integral, MIT 2016, problem 16. We have the integral from pi over two to pi over three, one minus cos x over sine x dx. For a moment on this, I didn't really know which way to approach it, and then I realized something real quick. This whole expression right here, this is actually tan of x over two. This is the half angle formula for tangent. But before we go ahead and integrate tan of x over two, let's just show why these two things are equal. Now over here on the right, we have these two useful formulas for the double angle that allows us to reduce the double angle to just from 2x to just x. And this isn't quite what we want though. We're starting with, or we already have an x, but we can change this. If you just substitute in here, everywhere you see an x, if we substitute in an x over two, we get a new formula just doing this at substitution because here these twos are gonna cancel. And now we have a formula for sine x and cosine x to transfer this into um, the half angle. So I'm just going to take these values. This, Just to be clear, this is my cosine x and this is my sine x. So let's just use these values and plug in here to transform this. So we're going to have 1 minus, our cosine formula is going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared x over 2. Sine x, we're going to use this one. 2 sine x over 2 cosine x over 2. Now in here, when we distribute this minus sign, 1 and a 1, that's just going to be 0. We'll distribute in this minus sign on the sign, and we'll have 2 sine squared x over 2. We'll just copy this down. Next, I can cancel my 2s. I can cancel sine and 1 sign, and we're left with sine x over 2 over cosine x over 2 but that's just the same thing as tan x over two. So what I'm gonna do is take this, and I'm just gonna replace my integral with tan x over two. And we know how to integrate this thing. It's just gonna be natural log of secant x over two. If we put one half in the denominator, we get a two out front here, and then we just need to evaluate this from pi over two to pi over 30. Then let's evaluate this. We have bring our two out front. We're gonna have natural log we put pi over two and divide by two, we're gonna have secant pi over four. This is in the first quadrant, so I'm just gonna drop the absolute value as we can see that that's gonna be positive. And then minus natural log secant pi over three divided by two is pi over six. Evaluating this, we're gonna have our ln secant pi over four, that's gonna be one over cosine pi over four. Cosine pi over four is square root of two over two. So we have here two over square root of two, just taking the reciprocal. Similar here, cosine of pi over six is square root of three over two. We'll take this reciprocal, and we'll have two square root of three. Then I can just take this, we'll have our two out front, write this as a fraction. We'll, use, we'll combine these with the property of the logarithm and write this as two square root of two over two square root of three. These twos are gonna cancel. So then we're almost there, we just have to notice that we if we were dividing by one over square root of three, the square root of three is gonna come in the numerator. We're gonna have two ln square root of three over two, but we can take this two and bring it here as an exponent and square this. Square root of three over two squared. So for our final answer, we're gonna have ln three over two. That's it, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.